Hi, I'm Charles. I'm from Central Texas. My conservative political perspective was formed as a teen listening to William F. Buckley and reading Barry Goldwater's Conscience of a Conservative. I was active in an effort to persuade him to run for president and attended the National Draft Goldwater Rally in Washington. Frankly, my political activism was shelved when I was commissioned. I entered into active duty, ultimately retiring as a lieutenant colonel. Leaving active duty, I went to seminary. I was ordained as a Southern Baptist pastor and served growing churches for 20 years. And although active in Southern Baptist for life, I felt that partisan uh, involvement was inappropriate for a pastor. But in my retirement, I again pursued political activism as a lifelong conservative Republican. I uh, served in municipal government as a Republican office holder. But during the 2016 season, primaries, I was puzzled to see one who had no grounding in either the Republican Party or as a conservative gaining the nomination. And during the primaries, uh, Mr. Trump acted as a bully, demeaning true conservative leaders and showing a, a, a lack of character. And as I had emphasized as a pastor, character counts. Yes, character counts. I could not vote for Hillary Clinton in 2016, so election day was a time for me to heighten stress what would happen. Frankly, I prayed, hoping that as president, Mr. Trump would rise to a moral leadership. And indeed, initially, he spoke of positive things. Yet, frankly, as the weeks became months and the months became years, I became aghast at his, at his ignorance, at his arrogance, at his narcissism becoming worse all the time. I have been devoted my lifetime, proud to be an American, to be a, a conservative, to be a Republican, as a lawyer, as a serviceman, as an evangelical Christian. But in the wake of his caustic narcissism, Mr. Trump has tarnished all the good that I have stood for. And it saddens me to say that I cannot, I will not vote for that man.